Radio frequency identification is a method for wirelessly identifying a tagged object using radio signals. An RFID tag consists of a very small chip attached to an antenna. The tag is attached to the objects, like say, our lamp here, and an RFID reader is brought into close proximity to the tag. The reader generates an electromagnetic field, which causes electrons to move through the tag's antenna and subsequently power the chip. That's right, there's no battery in the tag. It's powered solely by the radio waves emitted from the reader. That's pretty slick. Impressive. Anyway, the powered chip inside the tag then responds by sending its stored data back to the reader in the form of another radio signal. That radio signal is interpreted by the reader, which then sends the data out to a computer or a microcontroller. So reading our tagged lamp here informs us that... Lamp. Yes, in fact, I can confirm this is a lamp. That's just an example, of course. The tag could have included information about a price, or a serial number, or a secret encrypted message, which would have been pretty cool in hindsight. Now, there are active tags which incorporate their own power supply, and are therefore able to send data over a much greater distance. They are relatively large and cumbersome, though. All the tags we're using here are passive tags, as they have no internal power. The benefit of passive tags is that they can be made very, very small. Some small enough to be embedded under the skin, or simply compact enough to be embedded in an adhesive label, which is wicked cool. I suppose that's true. Who, is, who wrote the tags? That reminds me, some tags are read-only, and their data can't be changed. As you may have noticed, the tags we're using here are all customized. They are writable. I can write data to their internal memory just about as easily as I can read it. RFID technology is used in a variety of different ways. It allows us to pay a toll without stopping our car, open a door with a simple swipe, or even be reunited with a lost pet. The possibilities of what you can do with it are numerous. I mean, you could even make your own cookies. Guys, come on.